Let me give you a sneak peek at the NAN 2.0 pre-release. So I went onto the NAN public GitHub page and I found they had a pre-release that's available for anyone to test on their local computer. So this is that pre-release that I've installed on my computer. As you can see, the nodes are much more futuristic. And when you try and add some of these configurations, there's actually a new hover effect. For example, compared to the V1, which has this orange effect over here. And then as you can see, the V1 also has this like light gray outline around each of the nodes. Whereas over here, we have no light gray outline. So it's a bit more of a flat design and it looks more futuristic just makes me a bit more excited. Now the cool thing is that when you execute the agent node, the chat node, a wait node, anything that takes a few seconds to actually run through its process, you have this really cool loading visual right here. Next we have the save functionality which is a little bit different to the V1. So for example if I just click save it's literally instantaneous and I think this is a precursor for the auto save feature which is coming out in January. Next we have a new way to actually deploy our workflows. So in V1 we actually have this active and inactive toggle over here where if you activate your workflow it's live on the web. Whereas now this toggle button has been replaced by this publish button. Clicking publish opens up this section over here. We can actually name the version of your workflow and put a short description. And then you can actually click publish. And this is how you activate your workflow. Another cool thing is that the left hand side panels had a bit of a redesign where if I open it up now, you can actually just quick access to your settings by clicking on a settings button. And then you can click into any of the settings pages that you like. And just to remind us, this is how the V1 looks over here. You have to click on your profile, then click on settings. And so far, everything else that I've explored looks to be the same, if not similar. So the node configuration over here, all the options we have of choosing different nodes for our canvas, all looks the same. For example, the guardrails node, bring it onto the canvas. It follows this updated futuristic design, but when you click into things, actually the settings and the configuration is all the same as the V1. I am so excited for the official release of NAN 2.0. If you want to see me make a video on that, just follow my page. All right, see you in the next one.